Warner Brothers. Interactive Entertainment also known as WB Games is the video game production arm of Warner Brothers, and a publisher, developer, licensor and distributor of entertainment content for the interactive space across all platforms, including console, handheld, mobile and PC-based gaming for both internal and third-party game titles. History In 1995, Warner Brothers. Interactive Entertainment licensed out their first game property under their current name, Batman Forever to Acclaim Entertainment. They continued to license games based on Cartoon Network, DC Comics, Hanna-Barbera, Looney Tunes and various Warner Brothers film properties over the years to such video game publishers as Ubisoft, Electronic Arts, Atari and THQ. In 2003, they co-published their first video game, Looney Tunes, back in action. Electronic Arts was the other publisher of the game. In 2004, Warner Brothers acquired developer Monolith Productions. In 2005, the WB Games label was created. The first game that Monolith developed in conjunction with Warner Brothers Entertainment was The Matrix Online which Sega helped co-publish. Warner Brothers also helped distribute both Enter the Matrix and The Matrix, Path of Neo for the Matrix series. In 2006, they bought a 10.3% stake in Psy Entertainment, the owner of Eidos Interactive. That same year, they released their first self-published title with no co-publishers, Justice League Heroes, which was distributed by Eidos on the Xbox. In 2007, their goal was for a five-year plan to expand in the video game industry, which includes the acquisition of studios for internal development and the creation of a studio WB Games in the Seattle area that will run all the games published and developed by the company, starting with the acquisition of TT Games that same year for the amount of GB 100 million pounds. In April 2008, they increased their stake to 35%, gaining distribution right of all Eidos games in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. On December 15, 2008, right after Psy changed their name to Eidos PLC, Warner acquired a total of 10 million shares of the company, raising its own amount to 19.92%, after an agreement which prevented Time Warner from acquiring more shares was scrapped one month earlier. On January 28, 2009, The Hollywood Reporter reported the deal also gave Warner the rights of the Tomb Raider film series, previously owned by Paramount Pictures. On February 12, 2009, SQEX Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary of Square Enix, announced a takeover offer worth GB 84.3 million pounds, 32p per share, for Eidos PLC, which was backed by Warner Brothers as shareholder. Square Enix eventually took over the company April 22, 2009, and later changed the name to Square Enix Europe. Warner Brothers announced on February 4, 2009 it had purchased independent developer Snowblind Studios. Terms of the deal were not disclosed, but the acquisition serves to strengthen the publisher's internal development effort. In 2009, Warner purchased most of the assets of American publisher Midway Games, operating under Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, for $49 million. The assets purchased include Midway's studio in Chicago and Surreal Software, resulting in the ownership to the rights to the Joust, Mortal Kombat, The Suffering, Spy Hunter and Wheelman series. Midway Games had previously worked with Warner Brothers on several games including Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Midway intended to hold an auction of its assets on June 29, 2009, but no other bids were placed. On July 10, 2009, the sale to Warner was completed for approximately $49 million. In the process, WB Games became the owner of the Blitz, the League series. On July 28, 2009, Midway's Mortal Kombat team was rebranded WB Games Chicago by its new owners and, in 2010, was merged with Midway Games to form NetherRealm Studios. On January 13, 2010, it was announced that Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment will produce and have exclusive rights to Sesame Street video games starting in fall 2010 with Elmo's A to Zoo Adventure and Cookies Counting Carnival. On February 23, 2010, Warner Brothers. Home Entertainment Group announced it had acquired majority stake in Rocksteady Studios, an independent development studio based in London. Rocksteady and Warner had previously worked together in Batman, Arkham Asylum and Batman, Arkham City, and has been announced to work in the future with more Warner Brothers licenses. On March 22, 2010, Warner Brothers. 
Interactive is the latest video game company to open a studio in Quebec. Current president Martin Tremblay will lead the new Montreal studio, which will be known as WB Games Montreal. This new studio will gradually grow to include more than 300 people by the end of 2015. Tremblay also said that Warner will open another studio in another city soon. Martin Tremblay told us that the new Montreal studio will focus on creating games based on the DC Comics license. On April 9, 2010, Warner Brothers has announced it will publish a third installment to its FEAR series in fall of this year. Warner Brothers. Home Entertainment Group announced on April 20, 2010 the acquisition of Turbine, Inc. the developer of the famous MMO's Asheron's Call, Dungeons & Dragons Online and The Lord of the Rings Online, on June 4, 2010, Warner Brothers. Home Entertainment Group and Turbine, Inc. said that the massively multiplayer online title The Lord of the Rings Online was to become a free-to-play game that autumn. Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment announced on June 10, 2010 that Mortal Kombat, the most brutal installment of the landmark fighting game to date was due for release on the PlayStation 3 Computer Entertainment System and Xbox 360 Video Game and Entertainment System from Microsoft in 2011. Mortal Kombat was developed by the newly renamed NetherRealm Studios, led by Mortal Kombat creator and creative director Ed Boon. Branching out from Game Party for the Wii, Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment attempted to leverage the Xbox 360's newest piece of technology on June 14, 2010, revealed Game Party, in motion for Kinect. Arriving November 4 as a launch title, in motion for Microsoft's full body motion sensing technology brought sports and arcade games to the hardware. After Kevin Sujihara became chairman and CEO of Warner Brothers Entertainment, he promoted Diane Nelson to the post of president and chief content officer of Warner Brothers. Interactive Entertainment. In January 2015, David Haddad was named executive vice president and general manager of the company. In October 2015, he was promoted to president. On December 19, 2016, it was announced that Warner Brothers would no longer develop or publish The Lord of the Rings Online or Dungeons and Dragons Online. Further development of the game would be handled by a newly formed studio, Standing Stone Games, with publishing to be transitioned over to Daybreak Game Company. The new studio would take the old development team from Turbine, leaving Turbine as mobile only developer. As part of the deal, Daybreak did not pick up the rights to Asheron's Call, an original IP created by Turbine and thus owned by Warner Brothers as part of the 2010 acquisition. This resulted in the closure of Asheron's Call and Asheron's Call 2, Fallen Kings on January 31, 2017. On January 24, 2017, Warner Brothers. Interactive Entertainment announced it had acquired Avalanche Software from Disney Interactive Studios, including its Octane Engine software, and reopened the studio, with John Blackburn returning as its CEO. The studio's first title under their new owner was a companion video game to the Disney Pixar film Cars 3, titled Cars 3, Driven to Win, in partnership with Warner Brothers, Disney, and Pixar, on February 8, 2017, Warner Brothers. Interactive Entertainment acquired Playdemic via TT Games to make LEGO games for mobile devices. On July 11, 2018, Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment acquired PlexChat, a communications platform for mobile games, with its founder and staffs joining WB Games San Francisco. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Studios. Topic. Current Avalanche Software in Salt Lake City, Utah, founded in 1995, acquired and reopened from the Walt Disney Company on January 24, 2017 after Disney Interactive Studios being closed in May 2016. Monolith Productions in Kirkland, Washington, founded in 1994, acquired in 2004. NetherRealm Studios in Chicago, founded as Midway Games Chicago in 1988, acquired from Midway Games on July 27, 2009 and renamed in 2010. Rocksteady Studios in London, founded in 2004 and Majority Stake acquired in February 2010. TT Games in Knutsford, England, founded in 2005, acquired November 8, 2007. Playdemic in Manchester, founded in 2010, acquired on February 8, 2017. 
TT Odyssey in Brighton, founded in January 2018 as TT Games Brighton, renamed in March 2018. Traveller's Tales in Knutsford, England, founded in 1989, reorganised as subsidiary of TT Games in 2005. TT Animation TT Fusion in Wilmslow, England, founded in 2005 as Embryonic Studios, reorganised as division by TT Games in 2007. TT Games Publishing in Bristol, England, founded in 2003 as Giant Interactive Entertainment, reorganised as division as TT Games in 2005. WB Games Boston in Needham, Massachusetts, founded in 1994, acquired in 2010. WB Games Montreal in Montreal, founded in 2010. WB Games New York in Troy, New York, founded in 2017. WB Games San Francisco in San Francisco, founded in 2013. Topic: <laughs> Defunct. Snowblind Studios in Kirkland, Washington, founded in 1997, acquired in 2009. Merged into Monolith Productions in 2012. Surreal Software in Kirkland, Washington, founded in 1995, acquired from Midway Games on July 27, 2009. Merged into Monolith Productions in 2010. Topic: List of video games. Topic. See also List of Batman video games List of video games based on DC Comics Middle Earth in video games List of Looney Tunes video games List of Superman video games List of Tom and Jerry video games List of Tiny Toon Adventures video games <laughs>